what's going on collectors optical 20 back for another video review this time it's spider iron spider from the movie avengers infinity war and you can pre-order this figure or order this figure at bigbadtoystore.com just click the link down below uh why big bad just, just four dollar shipping and also you can save more in shipping if you use pile of loot so as you can see the box just standard box for uh infinity war but I, I like it you know you can actually use this as a backdrop highly recommend that the eyes is brighter and it has a different um you can see there it is infinity gauntlet kind of different texture line goes all around like your stuff and you the logo kind of like if you are press if you've been collecting since the first avenger you know that they have the small logos on the side so that's a good um paying homage there to the old uh, age of ultron slash avengers it comes with a good variety of hands and it is important to spider-man because his hands are so expressive uh he has different you know functions for different hands like one the crawling hands open palm hands uh and i just want and this is the iron spider though so this is inspired by iron man so you can kind of see there's uh like an arc not arc reactor but you know those blaster on his hands even though i don't think that's actually usable but um yeah like i said you can see the touch of iron man in here so this is really nice paint application uh it's nice and smooth and you can see some little um texture of whatever it is that that is just consistent with a pattern on his overall suit so that's that's really nice right there the hands are made made out of rubber as you can see here there's a exchangeable ice as well this time it's magnetized i believe on the first one it was not um, I have a little gripe on it though. It didn't came or it doesn't have the functionality as Deadpool, but it's okay. Um, you know, it is it, it's it's better than the last one. He does come with this um, separate mask, as you can see. It does have the eyepiece as well. So, but it, it's not removable. Uh, I'm I'm also surprised that they included this, which you know it's fine. I'm I'm cool with it. It's just that the actual suit itself is like nanotechnology, so he doesn't really take off his mask. It just folds up or down, whatever. But hey, you know, it's a nice piece. It's a nice display option. So it is there. And you can see the end part of the web as well. So if you haven't seen any of my reviews, I'm not going to tackle his webs. Uh, this is Iron Spider, not Spider-Man. So, and we've seen this web before. Um, you know, like I've reviewed two Homecoming Spider-Mans. This is Iron Spider, as you can see the stand. Avengers Infinity War. It does come with a yeah a different piece, kind of like Thor, but it's also uh, one of those dynamic stand kind of base. I like this base because it doesn't take too much space. However, I wish it came with this the normal cradle stand, not the dynamic stand, because you know not gonna wrap that around fabric. No way. Um, as you can see here or tentacles that he does back this is what separates him so it becomes doc ock uh from other spider-man figures uh because of this and just you know the overall look which is terrific in my opinion but this piece right here i mean there's four of them they're clearly labeled um you know whichever way they would go to fully articulated so it's really nice but as you can see there's tons of detail in this beautiful and um, I, I you know you have the option to remove them or keep them in there but in my opinion why would you you know if this is kind of like ratchet joints and just read a manual there's certain things that you can't bend it obviously you can't bend it backwards i highly recommend you don't do that but yeah you can rotate them do a lot of things and as far as the suit itself there's a lot of controversy about this suit um it's shiny uh it's <laughs> it's kind of latexy uh, as a matter of fact, I like the suit. Um, they, they tried to be, uh, I guess, as close to movie accurate as possible. So I, I get why the suit is what it is. Could they have come up with a, a different fabric, perhaps? But I'm not a no fabric expert. Uh, so, but aesthetic wise, it looks great in my opinion. I mean, it, the suit itself looks terrific. Um, it, it's shiny, kind of just sort of like the movie. Uh, I just wish there's more lights, you know, because in the movie there is more lights. I hope I, I wish that I mean, there's not a whole lot of bend that you could do. I mean, there is make no mistake about it, but uh, I would have rather seen I, I we, we all don't know what you know, what 
really is the fabric of the Iron, you know, Iron Spider-Man in the movie. But I wish that it would have been more of an Iron Man kind of plasticky, and I would sacrifice uh, more of um, articulation for lights. I would say because yes, you do get the articulation here, but as you can see here, there's a lot of details in this in this um, costume right here. And uh, you, you got to balance the detail to articulation. But to me, this is a specialized um, suit. So I don't mind. I have my homecoming Spider-Man for, you know, movement, crazy movements. Because even if it is possible, it's kind of cringe worthy anyway to uh, put him in dynamic poses. I mean, I like the fact that you could, I guess, having the option to put him in dynamic poses is there. But it's just that every time you do so, you're like, ah. Because, uh, I mean, I don't have the Arkham Batman, but uh, they were saying that it's kind of same fabric. If, it is, if it's the case, then you're bound to have creases. And that's okay, you know? I I'm pretty sure the actual suit does have creases. So, I mean, it's just the nature of life, I guess. If you have some clothing like this, it's bound to have some it's just a little bit more and i understand in a collector's standpoint as well it's, it is alarming because especially for somebody like myself who likes to you know buy and sell figures if you it's it's harder to move a figure if the buyer knows the issue and it exists and then he looks for and then you know you're gonna lose money uh however you know of course you don't buy you, you can always make the argument that don't buy this to sell this but you know the reality is some people does so and, and you want to retain the value as much as you could so that's that's always an issue out there however you know with that being all said i i'm still pretty happy with how this turned out as you see the back piece uh you can remove those paneling that's why they look weird that's where you're gonna insert uh you know those tentacles and um but you can see there they're, they're not clearly aligned but that's okay. I mean, I'm not my Iron Spider-Man is always or Iron Spidey, whatever his name is. It, they're always gonna have those uh, accessory. But as far as the overall look, I think Hot Toys nailed it. Um, the details are amazing. It has this vibrant color, especially if you light it up the you know in in the right way. It does look like um, you know the one in the movies. It's just you know you're battling here between the creases on his actual suit versus posing him dynamically um you see those things they they kind of simulated light um but yeah like i said i'd rather have some sort of an iron man figure than just a spider-man because we have options as far as spider-man you know we have the uh the first spider-man the black one amazing spider-man one amazing spider-man two you can see the, the bottom of his shoe here uh nicely detailed well and i, I don't know if you noticed but on the boots area uh, all right, so as far as the articulation piece, I put in my mic so you can hear this. So everything is ratchet joint, so. Okay, so I hope the mic picked it up. So you can bend, it's actually quite articulated. So you can see the knees can go up to that point with ratchet. Um, his arms can go forward as much as this, and you can bend the elbows. So there's articulation, you're gonna, this is gonna make you cringe though. This part right here, you know, and every time you post something, see, it's supposed to go back to its own, you know, self, which I believe it would. That's just the nature of the fabric or the material that they used. It's just that it is gonna leave a mark. You know, if you buy a leather jacket or anything like that, uh, it will leave a mark. So is there any ankle articulation? Yeah, there is. Um, it's not a, it's a one piece. As you can see right here, it's a one-piece boot, but but yeah, um, it, you're kind of gonna cringe because even on the elbow, you can bend it up high like that. But you see how it bunches up right here, and uh, just the material itself is is kind of delicate. So I pose him at your own risk. I would say that uh, he should stay in a museum pose. Now, if you are gonna take a picture of him, then yes, you could put him in a dynamic pose, but make sure that you. Put him back in museum post afterwards as far as the head sculpt um it's it looks great you know as usual but they recycle the old head sculpt and th it's not like there's anything wrong with that the only difference is this guy is uh as you can see it's magnetized 
and mine unfortunately came out undone right away and that is if you get one something like that just do yourself a favor don't return it just get a crazy glue or something like that and just glue it yourself it is common uh don't worry i've had iron man figures that had something like that especially with magnets and all that stuff so you know just just do it yourself it's not that hard uh so for those who hasn't seen uh, any of my reviews excellent excellent portrait of um tom holland here so you can see they they, they do say that uh, it does kind of have this giraffe neck uh because i guess of the magnet uh, I do see it, but it doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would. In, although in the movies, some of his skin is exposed, and I understand that it's not completely possible in this type of a figure, but that, I guess that's what simulates a giraffe neck as well, because it's just all one piece, you know, going up from the suit into his face. So it's a little weird, but, you know, it is what it is. And he, you know, this is a figure that comes with three head sculpts, basically. So that's the first one that you saw. They're all magnetized. So this is the uh, the one that's, that has interchangeable eyes. So that's the normal eyes. And the way you take it out is you just press the corner. This is magnetized, and it'll pop off, you know, the center piece. So it's not it's not that difficult. But uh, you know, I wish we would have, you know, had that Deadpool tool. And also for the eyes, why would you use the normal eyes? Because if you are going to use the wide eye, then just use the light up eyes. You know, you know what I'm saying? So in my opinion, this one, this is the one I've been talking about, the, the one that lights up. And just to let you know in advance, the batteries are just a pain just to insert. So tiny. Uh, I Luckily, I do have some tool from my Mark 46 that kind of like a little so but still i mean it's still a difficult one as you can see here the light is pretty bright and noticeable so even with bright lights as you can see here uh it is still looking quite beautiful so this would be your ideal pose for <laughs> your iron spidey uh just standard pose now i'm talking about when he is on your shelf uh, but again, as I mentioned earlier, pose at your own risk, but just standing there with just a normal head sculpt, which this is not how I'm going to display him. I have the homecoming as well. And, um, you know, there are different types of Spider-Man. This is more for me as a kind of like a show off piece. Um, look at that. It's just beautiful. Just the way the light bounces off this shiny material and, uh, it's 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 nice even just standing there i mean i don't need to put him in a crazy pose and i know it is spider-man and he's bound to do so but that's what my other spider-mans are for for him he just needs to stand there look cool and that should be it but if you decide to put him somewhere crazy and this is not the craziest pose that you can put your spider-man on i'm just trying to uh, give you a preview on how it would look like if you want to go a little bit more dynamic as you can see it's bunching up there on the side i only lifted his legs up there you can lift it up more uh, if you want to now the shoulders there's all sorts of articulation that you could do it is possible it's just that you're taking the risk of you know ripping up the suit or creating permanent creases which again if you are not planning to sell this figure that should not concern you in my case it does i don't know if i'm gonna sell this who knows i mean we could have a new iron spidey in in a few years or so. you always want especially for me who does reviews you know i, I want to rotate my funds into new figures so sometimes i have to sell figures that i like however i am a big fan of spider-man i currently have four it should have been five but uh this one is quite different than the other three spider-mans that i have actually all of them are different in their own right so it might stay uh i just really like the concept and i just like the look now if you're just gonna take a video or a quick snapshot i don't think this pose or any more dynamic than this is gonna damage your figure over time it's just that the nature of not just the fabric or not just the, the material of the suit, but because it's shiny and it's sort of a bright material, especially in the red areas, that's why it's more noticeable than, for example, somebody like Batman or Black Panther. So this is another pose, like he is crawling up. So this is, uh, you got a proper hand for this and his claws can just, you know, bend and kind of like 
dig in so if you are trying to shoot this obviously you don't want to shoot like this but i'm just you know trying to give you you're going to angle yourself in a more perspective way that's so it looks like he is climbing up this is where the magnetized head uh, comes into play because you can kind of extend the head i mean not obviously not to the full rotation that i wanted it to but uh enough you know just just you, you gotta find a right angle for you to do this and in here as you can see a beautiful back piece and it can rotate all over the place or whatever you want to just don't rotate back i mean bend those arms backward as far as height comparison uh he's pretty much in line with his two other companions here the both spider-man homecoming uh same actor so uh you would expect like the iron spider to be a little bit taller because you know it's more of a, a robotic suit so to speak but honestly i don't know if it's the color but the homecoming the, the tech suit spidey looks a bit bulkier or maybe it's just because it's lighter the blues are lighter and the reds are you know not as as dark as this so it, you know the light might be just fooling me but yeah when i was shooting this it, it just felt like the uh, the suit tech suit is a lot bigger than the iron suit which is a bit you know iron suit should be bigger and he said that it smells like a new car in there so i just this is not a comparison to the i uh, uh bat armored batman but i look at this tech suit as like you know how i look at the armored batman this batman is not gonna replace my not regular batman it just won't but i love the scene and i just love the idea of this armored bat so that's I, i'm okay sacrificing um uh, articulation for batman just to have this just this presence on the shelf and that's how i look at spider-man you know he doesn't need to do any dynamic pose for me but just to look cool that's why i'm at peace with you know all of these issues that they're having but yeah he just needs to look cool just stand there look you know look menacing and with spider-man in the right pose even though it's just a, a museum pose you can make him look like a, a badass so to speak you know just position the claws right you know put the arms closer to the body tilt the head a little bit here and there and you know this is how i look at him this is not the your only spider-man you should have a different spider-man but for you know this particular scene or you know that event he is cool he, he looks great in that scene and um yeah uh that should be it guys uh and you can see here one of the i would say most satisfying figure because you get so many accessories three head sculpts which is unheard of nowadays you're lucky sometimes to get two uh but three is just amazing and for uh, uh you know not even a bad price it's what like 250 because the regular spider-man homecoming got released for 229 so meaning one head sculpt and all these you know things in his back these tentacles are worth you know 20 bucks basically which is a steal because it's a light up head sculpt and it's 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 a nice figure it's a really nice figure so i highly highly recommend you pick this up this is still available at big bad toy store so like i mentioned earlier if you have a lot of pre-orders at big bad you can put them on pile of loot so what it does it's kind of puts it in a big basket so and then if you, whenever you want to ship it just ship it all at once so you only have to pay uh one time shipping which is only four dollars to begin with so yeah uh thank you for watching guys hopefully um you know i helped you out in your decision to pick up this figure this this figures are getting more and more expensive so uh i, I appreciate you guys watching my reviews uh, and hopefully um, I, I do help you out in, in any sort of way and follow me um on instagram and facebook and i'll see you guys in the next review